Pittsburgh are rolling down that eastern seaboard. I got my diesel wound up and she's a running like I never before. There's a speed zone ahead of it, all right. I don't see a cop in sight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home. Hey, y'all, uh, Cowboy Trucker here with my beautiful wife Sable and our trucking dog Xerxes and the and, uh, Trouble the Cat. They're all in the truck. And we got a little bit of a problem here. Our turbo was in, uh, was uh, spinning up, was pulling down, and we had some surging at idle going on. Well, I thought we had maybe a uh, air leak going into the fuel, so we troubleshooted that and further diagnostics. Come to find out, what goes right there is the exhaust pressure sensor that went bad on us. So, in order to get that uncovered. A little pipe that runs from the filter to your turbo inlet right here. You got to take that out and just hose clamp you take off. Everybody knows how to operate a hose clamp. And then uh, you just take your handy dandy crusher wrench. Just I didn't have a wrench big enough to take that sensor out with and spun it right on off. Now the connector. This is where we get a little bit of a problem. Well, depending if this is facing this way, which is always how I get lucky working on something, so I do it blind. But this is a lock. So it locks it down on the sensor so you, you can't push that. So you just push this over with your finger. You can do it with your hand until it's that far. Then push this little tab, and then hopefully it'll just pull right on off. And that's all there is to unhooking that and uh, unscrewing the sensor. It's a quick, easy job. Don't be afraid of it because you got to take your pipe off. Now, a lot of times this pipe will be kind of like stuck to it. So you take a nice little flathead screwdriver, like this one, and you wedge in between the pipe. And, and the gasket here, you just wedge it underneath there and turn it, rock it side to side. Just go all the way around doing that. Be careful not to tear anything up. These are not cheap. All right, we were in a hurry to tear it down, and uh, sorry for not recording the tear down, but we'll get back with you once we get the part in and we'll put her back together. We finally got the part in. And uh, one thing we want to talk about, you, you want to check, this is the sensor, and right now they're running about 160 bucks. You can get them offline for about 60. Um, the part number for this part. And it's just a little screwing sensor with an O-ring. That's all it is. So you just come in here and reach over top, make sure everything's cool. And you start screwing everything in by hand. All right, then you grab a wrench or a crusher wrench wherever you got to fit it. Just slowly screw it in. You just not a whole lot of room to work with. As you can see, this is going to take a minute. So I'll be back with you when we get this done. All right. As you can see, this is all the way in. It's touching metal on metal, and you don't have to put a whole lot of torque. It's got a gasket on it, the rubber O-ring. You just get it down to where it's nice and tight. And you take this clip, the wiring, just clip it back down on. Make sure it gets snug, and it can't pull off. And then you push the lock back into place, and you push the protector back down over the top of it. That's all there is to putting that sensor back on. Now we got to put the pipe back on for the airflow. Now, when you're putting the pipe back on, it could be a little bit of a pain to get it back in the top one. So you want to do that one first because this one slides on virtually easy, slides off easy onto the turbo. So you just run it back up in here, make sure you don't get snagged on anything. And try to get her straight and flush. And then just push and start wiggling. Let's 
So that don't work. Get ahead and try to fry her over. This is probably not gonna work either. But it could be a little bit of pain to get her to go back in properly. If you start off on the bottom here, start putting pressure to get it to go back in. Like so. It's easier to get her to go back in that way. See, it takes quite a bit of pressure to put her back on. You just wiggle, wiggle, and push until she goes back in. You can always wiggle her back out. Until you get this one, bottom one, where it can go on to. There we go. Then, as you can see, you see this little line right here? That's the old line to where she was at. So you line that back up, put her exactly how you took her back off. And you set your hose clamp back on, get it down hand tight. Yeah, no, I think it's 10 millimeter or three eighths. Yeah, so it's a 3 8 So you just tighten these all back down snug. I loosened all three so that way I can turn this if I need to. These are still so they could take a lot of force. Before you get it all the way tight, make sure she's lined up how you want her. Well, if you have any questions about the sensor and what it can do, and then uh, the Venturi tube, if it gets clogged, if you can clean it out, replace it, uh, any, any of that, just comment below and we'll answer. Thank you and have a nice day. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight.